Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm just gonna try to install Arc Browser from. Uh, this is a new browser. It's said on the website. It is a Chrome replacement. I've been waiting for. You can get it on arc.net and then you can just download Arc. The browser doesn't just meet your needs. It anticipates them. Um, and then you can just get it for Mac. You can get it. It's like space for different size of you, your browser, your way. Yeah, it's kind of like a trendy new software and app. There is also iOS app, but it mainly works as a Mac app. So then you can just download in Arc DMG file, open the Arc install in your downloads folder, drag the Arc icon to your Mac's application folder, add Arc to your dock and get ready. Uh, and then you can also scan this QR code uh, on, yeah, on your iPhone app. So then, yeah, I'll just drag it to my applications folder and let's see what happens. Then it is available in my applications and then I'll just open it up. Let's see what it is. Uh, open it up. It has some quite cool intro. It's like nice visual effects and then you just need to enter a name, email, password and that's how you create an account. So I'll just do that. So now I see this. Welcome to Arc. Start setup. Import everything you need from your X browser to hit the ground running. So you can just tap Chrome, um, tap Safari. Uh, I can just, then I can just import bookmarks. Uh, then I need to pick a color here. Mm, all right, select like some favorites. And then you can do like, should we block ads? We include an ad blocker. So you don't need to worry about invasive trackers, intrusive pop-ups. Uh, so then you can just make art your default browser. And then, uh, yeah, you can just go and explore it. Uh, and then this is how it looks like. Uh, meet arc. Uh, find the focus, master your multitasking. Find the internet. So there are a lot of features uh, where you can explore this app. You can split view like mini players, little R, custom shortcuts. So this is like a browser, you know, uh, for people who want to be a bit more advanced with our browsing experience. Uh, can find all of these different features here. A lot of shortcuts which you probably will need to learn. Um, so a lot of stuff like that. And then here you can just see some quick links to your profile. You can see some bookmarks imported from uh, yeah from your previous browser. You can go to some websites, like if I just go to Google and then this is how like, for example, just the browsing looks like I can just extend it and it's just like a standard uh, thing. Then I have a lot of settings here in the, in the arc. If you want, you can make art browser your default browser here. Uh, you can change, uh, and sync your sidebar with iCloud, uh, one before quitting. You can archive tabs, you can see all your data. You can fix the search engine, a lot of shortcuts. So this browser is super productive with shortcuts. Just a lot of links, um, advanced. So yeah, that's basically the idea uh, and then uh, yeah, you can just tap plus and then new space. This is like a new uh, thingy in this app where you just have all these different spaces and then you can just switch from them. Uh, Namespace. <laughs> 
then just rename it and then you can just quickly swipe through here and then you can also give some icon and then uh, there are some other things you can open up you can create new folder you can create new easel and easel is scrapbook for web capture magic screenshots from the web when you add them to an easel it will link back to original uh, page create with text drawings and more share with easel So that's basically like your notes app inside of this browser then uh, and then you can just add a new note and then new boost i don't know what that is uh, so yeah mm. so all this different functionality You just need to play with it, you know, like uh, just to discover all of these different things. Um, then you can easily search for URL and just go there. New boost. Edit the internet with boost. Uh, make a boost. So here, okay, so here you can just add it, like, you know, uh, you can change the layout, for example. Uh, and just have like different dark mode, light mode. If you like, for example, in a green color, you can make your Google green or something super easy. Uh, and then, the, yeah, so some things like that. And you can also adjust more contrast, less contrast, uh, things like that. It's pretty cool functionality. I don't know if it's available in other browsers. And then you can also, you know, add some geeky fonts here. Um, that's nice then you can also try some code so that's interesting so yeah that's what you can try out here and then uh, that's basically how it works and then you just have everything organized in your space so yeah, it feels kind of uh, addictive to it. Uh, you know, you just start playing with art browser and you just discover more and more things. Uh, and then for example, if I just save it to easel, I can just drag it around. can also replace it with my live website. Uh, so yeah, and then it's just available here and you can just drag it around. Don't know how helpful is that, but yeah, like if you plan to organize something and then you can just try to use that in the bottom right, you can just share it uh, and then you can just edit it with someone. So it's kind of like a mirror board where you can discuss different ideas, draw different things and uh yeah just um so yeah there are like different uh things here you just need to play with it and discard just bringing your attention to this browser that you can definitely give it a try uh then also you see archive by default and touch today tabs are archived after 12 hours you can find them again in archive or change the time in the preferences so do that and then there are all these different extensions which are imported from chrome uh, there is like help section there are different tabs spaces view and that's basically the idea of this uh, browser just like a very quick very beginner preview i'm just exploring it uh, with you um, so give it a try.